Welcome back to the Handyman Business YouTube channel. There's a lot of new subscribers. Thank you for, for joining. This is a small YouTube channel. It's a supplementary channel to my main YouTube channel. That is called The Handyman. I'm currently at 150,000 subscribers and averaging between 1.1 and 1.2 million views a month. I upload two to three times a week. Uh, as we go into the high advertising revenue months, I'm trying to bump that up to four times a week, but don't hold me to that. So I strongly encourage you to go follow that channel to see where I get all this knowledge that I try to give to you on this channel. Today is a day of doing everything that I don't want to do. Started with maintenance on my rental property, emails back and forth to sponsors, and now I'm using you guys as motivation to do an estimate for a master bathroom renovation. I get a lot of questions. Lots, lots of questions. I think the last time I counted we're at like 60, 70,000 comments on my videos. A lot of those are questions from guys that are just getting into this business and they want to know how do you price things? How do you know how much things cost? How do you know how much time things take? And my answer is just experience. Um, I've been doing this my entire life. Yeah, literally my entire life. I was, you know, making up outlets, electrical outlets at 10, 12 years old, 15, 16, 17, all throughout high school. I was at, I was a helper in college. I went to college for construction management all through college. I did side jobs as well as work for uh, home builders. Oh, jeez, Beyonce. It's Beyonce again. How you doing? Boy, does she love to chit chat. So where were we? Um, how do I estimate projects? Uh, so I'm going to take you through how I currently do it. And it is based off of experience. So I have here, I'm going to be reading it out loud, called Master Bathroom Reno. It's a five-piece master. And it's all basically getting removed except for the bathroom vanity. It's a wide double bathroom vanity uh, that she does plan on painting, having me paint the vanity. So first item up is the shower. It's a standing shower. It's gonna be a full gut job. We're taking out the framed shower glass, We're taking out the fiberglass, plastic, shower pan, all the tile goes. We will be retaining the mixer valve because this is a new home. Mixer valves in perfectly serviceable condition and will be serviceable for forever probably. Um, so we'll just be getting a new trim kit for her mixer valve. So I will be building a shower pan a, with its tile with the curb, slope, drain, shower walls. I will not be installing the, the new frameless shower doors. Now the way I do these remodels is I give them a price for my labor in rough materials. So it would be the labor to demo it, dispose of it, the labor to rebuild it, the mortar, the mortar bed, the, the backer board, the, the thin set, but not the tile and not the grout, not the trim kit, not the shower doors. The wa all the waterproofing, that's on me. So I know from experience that that's $3,000. So we're gonna write $3,000. My profit, my overhead, everything is rolled into that. Like I said, it's just based off of doing a whole bunch of these. Now, she's got a garden tub. That's one of those big tubs you sit in. It's non-jetted, but it does have a tile wall surround. Sits up well, about the height of your knee. She wants that fully removed, gutted, and a clawfoot tub put in its place. My price will not include the cost of the clawfoot tub. It won't include the price of the faucet set, but it will include demoing it, prepping the walls for tile, tiling it, uh, and light plumbing hooking up the drains. So for that, 1800 bucks. Uh, all right, um, the next major item is remove. It's a tiled countertop currently. So I'm demoing the, the, uh, the top, the sinks, the faucets. Maybe replace the shutoff valves, these shutoff valves don't last very long unless they're exercised. So I always include in my bid replacing all the water shutoffs. Now, with that, I will not be installing the solid surface countertop. That's a specialty trade. I don't mess with that. Uh, sometimes I do. I've got a, a video series on my other YouTube channel, $20,000 bathroom reno, where I custom build a crazy vanity 
with a three centimeter quartz countertop. It's ridiculous. You got to go see it. Um, I will be in charge of setting the sinks, hooking the sinks up, uh, installing the new faucets. I will not be drilling holes in the new top. That'll all be done. I do not supply the faucets. So for the demo and reinstallation of all that is 800 bucks. The next major item is the floor. Remove all the floor tile. All the baseboard comes out, all the doors come out. There's three doors in this bathroom. The, the, the toilet comes out. I've got to prep the subfloor for reinstallation of tile and install the tile. I do not supply the tile. I supply everything underneath the tile. That right there is $1,800. It's roughly, I don't know, 60 square feet. Maybe a little more. I did all this a little bit, uh, uh, like last week. All right, uh, what are we looking at here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the mirrors. So the next major, can't read my handwriting. Remove the mirror, it's a massive mirror. And I, hopefully if I've done this video right, I have already inserted a video clip of this. Beyonce, come on girl, get it together. Uh, I've already included a video. So you can see firsthand what this bathroom looks like. So it's a massive mirror. That massive mirror is coming down. It's glued to the wall. A lot of times it pulls sections of the drywall off. So removing this mirror includes all the wall repairs. This price also includes installing her, her mirror. She's picking out some, she's gonna have a mirror in, one, in front of one sink and in front of another sink. Uh, she's also gonna have lights that go over there. We'll get to that in the next line item. So I got to install these mirrors, get them centered, all that business. Not that big of a deal to hang a mirror. Uh, so for remove the mirror, repair the wall, install new, we're doing 500 bucks. The next one, install four new lights. Some lights are easier than others, so it's going to work out to be $150 a light. Five, six, that's a little high. So I will round down and I'll just call that 500 bucks. I got to do some relocation of the, the electrical behind the wall that the mirror is on. There's another thing to this, is custom made uh, side cabinets. So on the end of her countertop, custom cabinets built on the side uh, to put, I don't know, makeup and stuff in. Those custom cabinets right there are 1400 bucks. That includes me building them here in this workshop, painting them, Delivering them, installing them, installing the hardware, the whole nine yards, getting the materials, everything. That's a turnkey price. She doesn't pay for anything. Now I'm gonna have to paint the bathroom. That's not a big deal. We'll call that 500. Now the unknowns. What is that unknown? We're gonna throw in another thousand bucks to cover anything that I didn't think of. So let's add this all up here. Ten thousand nine hundred bucks, and that is spot on to what the total number that I had in my mind before we even went there. So a five piece master bathroom, full remodel, comes in between thirteen and fifteen thousand dollars every single time. So now by the time you factor tile, light fixture, mirrors, a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar claw foot tub, that'll put us right in that ballpark figure. The market here for this project is thirteen thousand to fifteen thousand dollars for this bathroom. Hers will probably be closer to 15,000. The frameless shower doors, you can expect to pay 1800 bucks for that. Tile isn't that expensive because it's low square footage. She's not going very high end. She's going unique look, but production. Like you can get some pretty neat looking light fixtures at Lowe's.com. So how do I present this to the customer? Do I break all this out? Well, she did want some options. Some of her options that affect these pricing numbers are cubbies built into the shower. These, um, the clawfoot tub, uh, the, the demo of her garden tub, that was also a pricing option. I think these custom cabinets on the ends of her vanity was another pricing option that she wanted. She'll get three numbers basically. She's going to get this number here and I'm going to sell this number and I think this is a very, very good deal. She's not gonna get anything broke out about hours, material, labor, or any of that. So that's how I do it. How did I used to do it? Before, I had done dozens of these and supervised hundreds more. Quantity takeoffs. That's how you typically estimate 
unknown jobs. I've been using means cost estimating since I was 21 years old. Before it was even digitalized, it was all in a big thick book and you had blueprints and you did quantity takeoffs, lineal feet of rubber baseboard because most of it was all, all most of my uh, high dollar estimating was commercial like car dealerships and banks and grocery stores. Go to means cost estimating. There is a a price per foot for installation, the, uh, for the material, everything. Everything you can imagine to build something. A building to a outhouse. There are unit pricing. That is typically how you price out large construction projects. Small remodels. There is more room to wiggle. I can sell my, I know this lady is a security fanatic. That is what, how she got my name. And she does not want just any Joe Blow remodeler in her house. There's cameras everywhere. She's in the military. I know she's strapped. She's got a guard dog, two guard dogs. Her house is immaculate. She's got two tables, a dining room table and like a breakfast nook. And even though she's single and lives alone with her two uh, attack dogs, she has all the settings made up. All the, the, from the forks, to the napkins, to the dishes, are already out on the tables. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty neat and tidy. Well, my wife is extremely neat and tidy, but we don't have our, our dining room set up as like a model. With that information, we're gonna throw on another thousand dollars right there. So now we're at 11, 11, nine. Go over to the handyman and subscribe. What's weird is I'm usually telling people on that channel to come over here and subscribe to this channel. This is a fast growing channel, the handyman business. Um, so if you want to know more about me, head on over to the handyman. That'll be linked below.